Okay, he's how to beat General Tenzin Yamuichi in Sekiro Shadows Die twice. Alright, first let's take a look at the area you have to deal with. There's a number of minions. On the left there you just saw a gunman, that's another gunman there, and that dude up there is a bell ringer who alerts everyone to your presence. But the real problem, childs, in this map are those two gunners, so we want to take them out first. Best way to approach it is to stealth crawl out onto this ledge, grapple up to this trunk here, and then immediately run down and fall down behind this back door. The idea with this strategy is you want to lure the, the general through this back door and try to keep him in this back area for as long as you can. Sometimes he'll come in by himself, sometimes this other dude will run in by himself. But if you lure the general, generally they'll both come in. And the moment you've got them to about that spot, jump up onto that branch and onto this ledge. All the enemies will know you're there, but just kill the bell ringer. If you're doing a death kill, that shooter down below, his shots will just go straight through you. Now this is pretty much your safe spot for the entire rest of this fight. Basically stay up here out of sight until... the. <laughs> he just he just fell off that's hilarious but basically what you would do if he hadn't fallen off is you would stay up in this area and wait until their attention is no longer on you and then you can drop down and stealth kill the guy at the back even if the boss is there because by that time the boss will have possibly created a bit of distance now we've got a chance to kill the first gunner so stealth kill him then immediately go to the trunk on the on that trunk there jump up and back to the safe spot. As I said, this is the staple of completing this boss fight pretty easily. Now what you want to do is you want to also keep your eye on where the boss is behind you. You can see in the top left screen there, uh, his name is there. That tells you his attention is still on you. If his name goes off, that means his attention is off you. And it means if you look down, make sure you're not going to jump right on top of him. You should be able to jump down at the back and then run up behind him and get a stealth killing blow on him to take one of his two lives. But as long as his attention is still on you and it will often stay still on you while you're in this spot, that's fine. You know he's still looking at you. But the other guys, their attention won't necessarily stay on you while you're on this spot. They will stop thinking about you and that allows you to one by one take them out. So we'll take this guy out now. And I can see there's no other guys around, so I'm going to run ahead and take this, this guy out from behind as well. Normally, you might turn around and retreat to your safe spot after the first one if there's any other guys around and they see you. But in that case, I had the opportunity, so I did it. If you didn't have that opportunity, you would just run. Now, you can see his name disappeared, so I can get a stealth kill on the boss right now to take one of his lives. Now, it's a little early. I could fight the boss here because fighting the boss is actually pretty easy, really, once you know the strat for it. But I won't fight him just there. I'll take out the rest of his minions. This guy can see me, so stuff it. I'll just take him out. But normally you would wait and try and stealth him if you wanted to do it easier. Now, this, the first of those shooting guys is right here. He's right behind that corner. So if I go out to fight that guy, that shooting guy is going to shoot me almost for certain. Let's see if he shoots. Yep, there you go. So I don't want to do that. I'm just going to retreat because there's no point that the, that samurai dude, he'll just stay there and then, then I'll get shot. So I could kill them, but for the purpose of making this an easy strat to understand, I'll, I'll just wait and stealth kill them. Maybe attract the boss back to the back here again. I want to try and keep him at the back as much as you can. Well, that's even better. This other guy has noticed us, so we'll be able to take him out on his own. It's not stealth, but that doesn't matter. He's on his own. Thrust attacks are a great way. Do a strike. Pretty much these guys block, so do a strike and then be prepared to block, but thrust attacks really hurt them, so... Okay, we've got the boss's attention again. Once again, drag him around to the back, and then jump up onto the log. Now, we already took one of the boss's lives, but you can see his two lives are back in the top left corner. That's because once you take a, a boss's resurrection ability, it will return after a short space of time if you don't hurry up and take the next one. But now we have the opportunity with all enemies gone to kill this other gunner, which I've just done. Now the boss is free, and you can see the boss's name is no longer in the left corner. So I know he was at the back. I know he's slowly walking back in and he's right for another death blow. So I'll do that, run around, there he is. And another death blow. Now, from here on, it's just a matter of fighting the boss. The best and safest spot is in the middle of the arena now that all the enemies are gone. The way to beat this boss is actually pretty simple, even though at first glance he appears really tough. 
The way to do it is double dodge back out of his way so you created some distance between them, then thrust attack in. When you thrust attack in, it really hurts his health bar. It doesn't, you don't really do much to his posture, but that doesn't matter. You, you do a lot of damage to his health bar. So I, you will have to block him though because he's quite quick. So when you thrust him, be prepared to block faster than you are prepared to double dodge back. I usually go with the idea, thrust in, block, block, double dodge back. Or walk back I did then because there's plenty of room. But yeah, if you, but he can do two, three or four strikes, but generally he'll, he'll do two before he can double dodge back. If you see that red icon, uh, it just means there are ways to counter it easy, but the easiest, ultimate easiest way to counter it is just to walk or double dodge back. Double dodge back when you see the red. What the heck? I mean walk. <laughs> just, just double dodge back. So yeah, the strategy, look at his health. His posture hasn't been broken yet, but he's almost dead. So thrust in, be prepared to block once or twice, and double dodge back. And it's that simple to kill him. And if you miss a thrust like that, just get out of the way and let him do his attack. When he goes white like that, that means he's recovering. You don't let him do that. Attack him when he goes white, basically. So yeah, thrust in, double dodge, uh, double block, and then double dodge back, but he's almost dead just from doing this strategy. It's very easy. I didn't even take any damage while doing it. So yeah, that's how you take out all the enemies on this map and beat this boss. Anyway, I hope this strat helps those of you who have been having trouble with this battle. I am loving Sekiro, and I hope you do too. On to the next one. Bye for now.